my channel or welcome if you are new here. For today's video, I am going to be doing a get ready with me. I'm at my kitchen table and I have all my makeup in here to take you through step by step what my everyday makeup routine looks like. Now, I first wanted to start off by saying I am by no means, not at all, a beauty guru of any kind, nor am I trying to claim to be, but I did get a couple requests to do this video and I do enjoy doing my makeup and things like that. So I decided to hop on here and do this for you guys. So if you are new to my channel, hi guys, I am Sierra. I am a mom of three. I do all kinds of mommy lifestyle cleaning type videos on my channel. So if that's something you're interested in, I would love for you to hit the red subscribe button down below to join our YouTube family. But without further ado, we're just going to get right into the makeup. And yeah, so I just keep my makeup in a little drawer. I use a mixture mainly drugstore. Sometimes I like to get some high-end products, but if I can get something cheaper, then I will. So the first thing that I do is, well, first of all, I put on like a skin perfecting lotion or something like that. I actually have a uh, Murad one that I absolutely love, but I don't know what happened to it. I swear it was in this drawer. I've probably taken it out or something. And uh, that's what I would do first. So of course, when I'm sitting down to do a video, it's not there, but that's what I would do first. In this case, I don't know where it's at, so um, I'm just going to do my foundation first, and I am using currently the CoverGirl True Blend uh, Matte Made Foundation. This is in the shade L30 Golden Ivory, and I'm almost out of this, so I'm hoping and praying that I can squeeze just a little bit out. For my makeup today. I actually was not planning on doing my makeup today. Um, I thought today was Tuesday for some reason and then I realized oh it's Wednesday and I have church tonight so I have to do my makeup and when I go to the grocery store tomorrow I'll pick up some more of my makeup but I'm just using this Real Techniques um, brush. I don't know exactly what kind. I think it's just the foundation brush. I put a couple pumps on my hand and so then I will just apply it to my face. No rhyme or reason at all. And um, when I'm doing like a more dramatic eye, this one is probably going to be pretty basic. Um, if I'm doing a more dramatic eye, then I will do my foundation after I do my eyes. But I'm, like I said, I'm just probably going to do something basic. This color doesn't like perfectly match me right now and it's actually showing up a little bit more yellow than it actually is in real life but it works it seems like it matches see like it totally matches like my actual skin tone but I mean my face is just a little bit more pale so I get it all down my neck behind my ears I was one of those girls in high school, oh my gosh, um, who would do like just their face and then you would see those lines and once it was brought to my attention, I stopped doing that. <laughs> I'd be sure to blend everywhere. And actually I really like the Real Techniques Beauty Blenders more so than the brush probably, but my son, Raiden, who's two, he decided to completely tear that apart. So that's why I am not using that. I also need to get another one of those. I'm just going to blend this out everywhere. It kind of takes me a while. I'm like such a perfectionist about blending. So. And also, if we have time in this video, I'm going to show you guys how I do my hair. Because my hair is like a crazy curly mess naturally. So I think I've got it blended in pretty good. Now I'm going to be going in with my concealer. And this is the NYX Gotcha Covered. And I would totally say that this is a dupe for the Bye Bye Under Eye concealer from It Cosmetics. I've had both. I actually just ran out of the It Cosmetics one and I saw on Pinterest that this was a dupe for it and this is like half the price. I absolutely love it. It has the exact same consistency. If you ever use the Bye Bye Under Eye or this, you'll know that it has very much of a creamy texture and a little bit goes a long way. So I'm just putting a little bit down there and I use my fingers for this um, for like applying it into the areas I want. I don't know why, but I just feel like it 
goes on better because it's just so creamy it's hard to blend it in with the brush if I had my beauty blender I would definitely use the beauty blender and I just put this kind of like in a triangle under my eyes and then I also put a little bit on my cheeks because as you've seen earlier with no makeup on I do have a little bit of a breakout going on and then I put some up here and then I kind of try to take my brush and blend it out but sometimes I just revert going back to my fingers and I know you're not supposed to do that but the stuff is like so creamy. And I also had some of the, um, I think it was the Maybelline translucent powder, but I ran out of that a couple days ago and so that's another thing that I'm missing in this video. I will try to leave all of my products that I do love and use listed down below or linked or something of that sort in case you're interested. So I think I've got that blended in pretty well. Like I said, I've been using the translucent powder, but I ran out of that. So, um, yeah. I am now going to be putting on some of my bronzer and I'm just going to be using this Hoola bronzer. So I'm using this bronzer brush, and I'm going to be using this bronzer brush, that's so hard to say. I'm going to be using this bronzer brush from Real Techniques as well, and just kind of putting my brush in there a little bit, and then sucking in my cheeks. Also applying it like just to natural areas where the sun would naturally hit. get a blush brush and just apply a little bit of blush and this one is the shade 20 in the Maybelline Fit Me. I don't think it has a specific color name but uh, oh it says mauve. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that and then just kind of apply it to the apples of my cheeks. Next I am going to be applying a highlight and um, I do really love the Laura Geller, um, which one is this? The Gilded Honey, but I also love the e.l.f., um, what is this one? I think it's like Moonlit, yeah, it's Moonlit Path. So today I think I'm going to use the Gilded Honey one, just to get more of a bronzy kind of look. So I'm going to apply that to my brush and then just kind of apply it to the upper part of my cheeks. nose and chin my two favorite eyeshadow palettes are the urban decay naked ultimate basics it's just got a bunch of basic colors in it and then i also have the jaclyn hill palette that is a mess right now but that's the jaclyn hill palette that i have today i'm going to be using the jaclyn hill palette and i'm going to take this kind of color right here it's just a really beige type color and i'm just going to be putting it in my crease and sometimes I use an eyeshadow primer when I am doing more of a dramatic look this is the one that I use if I am doing a more dramatic look but it kind of if you get it anywhere near your eyelashes it really clumps up and it's hard to remove it so I only use it when I'm doing something dramatic but yeah I'm just putting that color in my crease going to take this little bit of a darker color and putting it more on the outer corners of my eye on both sides and then blending it in as well and like I said guys I am no professional at this and I'm probably doing this all wrong but you know all good I'm just a mom trying to look decent all right and so that does not look perfect at all 
Like seriously. My son is literally bringing me sweet tea during this video. And then what I will do is take a slimmer brush like this and then taking that same kind of color and then just putting it on my lower lid just to kind of bring the shadow down. I hate watching this on other people's video. Like it just grosses me out. So I can't believe I'm doing it on camera. And then I'm just going to take like a darker brown shade and also put it under my eye on the lower lid. Kind of smoking it out a little bit. And then I will go in with my Revlon Color Stay. I go back and forth with this one and the e.l.f. one. They're both just as good. And I will do some liner on top. Probably not going to wing it. Just do a little bit of liner on top. So, sorry I'm going to have to look this way at my mirror, guys. I am not the best at this. So, if you guys have any tips or tricks for this. Well, first I need to stop talking. But if you guys have any tips or tricks for this, let me know in the comment section down below. my top liner it's like one eye always does perfectly and then the other eye just like looks a hot mess so that one turned out okay <laughs> let's see how this one does pretty good today and then what I do is I kind of give that a moment to dry and then I will take my uh, NYX Tame and Frame brow gel stuff and do that on my brows so first I take the little spoolie and just kind of comb out my brows I like to go get my uh, brows um, what do you call it threaded I like to get my brows threaded um, but I actually don't do it that often. It's only like $12, but I just never get around to going out and doing it. And so, I most of the time resort to like plucking them, which is not the best thing and I'm not the greatest at, but it works. But I've also got my eyebrows waxed as well, but same thing with the threading. I just, mm, I don't know, don't get around to getting out to do it that much. So I just kind of film in not perfectly, not super structured on a just basic day like this. And that's pretty much all I do. Now I apply my mascara. So I like the Better Than Sex mascara, but I don't have any of that on hand. I'm using the Lash Sensational and I heard this was a dupe for it and I honestly would agree. It's a very good mascara it really does the full fan effect on your lashes and it's like half the cost so and then the last thing i do is lips i'm a lipstick girl i do like experimenting with different lipsticks and lip stains and all that but today i'm just going to use one of my favorites and that is the nyx soft cream these are like the butter glosses. This one is in the shade K9s. And I just love this color and it just feels really nice on your lips. I have such small lips that sometimes it's really hard to like apply lip stuff. So that is it for my makeup look. We have a little bit of time left. So now I'm going to, I have my straightener over here plugged up and I'm just going to go over with you guys how I do my hair. 
All right, guys, so moving on to hair. I just let my hair down and it's craziness. This is what happens when I get out of the shower and I don't do anything at all with my hair. So first thing I'm going to be doing is like kind of separating it and putting half of it up into a high bun. I've got half of it up in a bun and then the lower half is just down obviously. But I washed my hair this morning and I didn't do anything to it. So this is just kind of naturally how it dries. Like craziness. I actually had really straight hair as like a smaller child and then as I got older I started to experiment and like braid my hair every night because I wanted curls. Curls were just like in when I was younger and I guess I just like ruined my hair and turned it naturally curly now. So yeah and ignore this bruise on my arm. I have no idea where this came from. I'm like that kind of person who bruises so easily, but I'm just going to brush out my hair. So I'm just going to take small sections of hair and my hair looks kind of crazy right now because I have all this blonde down here and then I have my dark roots growing out, but I'm just trying to get my hair back healthy again from where I lost a lot of hair. Don't know if it was like from my bladder medicine doing it or from dyeing my hair so much, but I'm trying to let my hair get back to its healthy state. I want to grow it out and so that's why you see a lot of brown roots. I have to get a drink of water. I'm getting like kind of choked up. And my husband actually got me this straightener. It is just the, oh, it is the Infinity Pro by Conair. And I think he got it from Target. It does a really good job of like sliding through your hair. not good at doing the back. I hate doing the back. I'm like that kind of person who keeps going over and over everything until it is like super straight. If I have time, that is. Because some days the kids are not being occupied and I just kind of have to rush through it. So... They're playing in the girls' room right now, so I can kind of hear them because the girls' room is like right there. and my hair routine kind of I mean I pretty much straighten it all the time so that's just how I straighten my hair nothing very special as you guys seen I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed seeing kind of like my everyday makeup and everyday hair if you did enjoy it please give this video a thumbs up do not forget to subscribe if you are new here remember to always embrace the chaos in your life and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys